guys, I'm here to share my Sephora recommendations and wish list with you guys. I know that the Sephora VIB spring sale is in full swing and that everyone ha has access to shop right now. But I thought I'd just throw my two cents in, um, better late than never, of uh, things that I recommend if you're still shopping. I'm still shopping. I already did my first order, but I'm still kind of shopping around and maybe we'll place a second order or pop into a Sephora store. So I'm still sort of watching recommendations videos and wish list videos to get inspiration. So I thought I'd go ahead and film my own just to put out some of my Sephora like must-haves favorites um, with you guys if you guys are looking for some more inspiration. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so the Sephora sale is in full swing um, and it's a super exciting time. I think the spring sale is probably even more popular than the one that happens during the holidays because there's just so many new spring releases, it's just a lot of excitement, um, so this one is pretty popular. So the Sephora Spring Savings Events, I think it started on the 14th and then it goes all the way until the 24th so we still have plenty of time to shop. So depending on your membership status, you can shop at different times. I believe VIB Rouge's had early access on the 14th and then everyone else got to shop on Tuesday, no matter your status. So um, yeah, everyone can shop right now and there's different levels of discount depending on your membership. So if you are a Rouge, it's 20% off and then it goes to 15 and 10%. So um, yeah, this is the perfect time to go ahead and save a little bit of money. I am a VIB Rouge and that just means I spend way too much money at Sephora. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this video because I don't want my recommendations to be extremely long and bore you guys. But I'm going to go ahead in categories just to keep it organized. I'm going to start with hair. I'm usually not particular on shampoos, so I wasn't even going to include a shampoo, but there is a shampoo that I really, really love that you can find at Sephora that I think is totally worth it. And if you have issues with a sensitive scalp, dry scalp, dandruff, itchy, irritated scalp, this is a great shampoo to try. This is the Brio Geo um, Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil micro exfoliating shampoo so this shampoo has little micro beads exfoliating beads in it that helps to scrub your scalp it really helps to clean and clarify your scalp i love this shampoo when my hair just feels like it has a lot of buildup um also i suffer from um uh sort of like a flaky itchy irritated scalp so this is one of the products i have definitely saved my life I've been using this so much. I have the big giant one here. You do not need to get this big giant tub of shampoo. It's extremely expensive, but because I know that I love, love, love this shampoo, I um, like the value of getting the really big one. Um, but you can start off with the smaller one. I think they even may sell like a little travel size for you to start to try. It is amazing. You just concentrate it on your scalp and your scalp just feels so clean and tingly and refreshed. I absolutely, absolutely love it. That same line, which I actually need to replenish. Um, I'm thinking of replenishing this or trying maybe something a little different. We will see and I'll talk about that in my, at the end of the video, in my wish list. But um, this is the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Treatment. So this is in the same line, but this is actually the treatment. Uh, and you just use the little dropper and you go ahead and you drop it in your scalp. And this is sort of a targeted treatment for that dry, flaky, itchy, irritated scalp. And I love this. I can't tell you how many of these I have gone through. It's honestly crazy. And it's one of my Holy Grail hair products. A product that I don't have here to show you and definitely is one of my Holy Grail products. And it makes its way in and out of my routine. I normally always have it, but I need to get a new one. Is the Olaplex Number no. 3 treatment. I am a big fan of Olaplex. I know there's a lot of controversy around Olaplex. But Olaplex is one of the brands that really work for me uh, personally. Um, I love the number three treatment. It is a bond repairing treatment. It just really helps to repair your hair, strengthen it. My hair feels so silky smooth after I use it. And definitely a staple in my hair care routine. I've gone through, again, countless bottles of that. Another Olaplex product that I want to talk about is going to be the Olaplex number six, which I actually do have to share with you. New York City. What are you going to do? I think I need an iced coffee. I'm gonna take a quick coffee break. Oh, and here is a little 
bump update. One sec as we take a coffee break. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I do have the Olaplex number six here to share with you guys and it takes forever to go through this product and I love it. I am about three fourths of the way do, um, done so I don't need to repurchase this but it's definitely one but I definitely want to recommend this to you guys. This is the Bond Smoother. So this is a leave-in that you use. You need very little, like literally a pea size amount. You put this through the mid length of your hair to the ends. And this just really helps combat frizz. And it makes your hair super um, shiny and smooth. You don't want to use too much of the styling cream, the styling product, because it can weigh your hair down. So that's why it's been able to last me forever. And definitely this is a staple in my hair care routine. I use this as my leave-in step. I only have one deep conditioner to share with you guys, and it's my favorite deep conditioner at the moment. It's the Ajua Beauty uh, Balment Deep Conditioning Treatment. I know so many people talk about this, so this may be very redundant, but it is really that good. I have heat trained natural hair so basically my hair is natural but I don't wear it in its natural state. I wear it straight uh, straightened so it's heat trained. Basically I've been um, uh, straightening my hair for years. I've been natural for uh, I want to say I've been natural for over eight years now maybe even going on 10 years maybe I've been natural so I used to relax my hair but um, I decided to just go heat trained and I haven't looked back since so this is my favorite deep conditioner because it really is great for dry hair and makes your hair so moisturized but what I love about this even though it's deeply nourishing hydrating it doesn't leave a film on your hair which I hate um, it doesn't make your hair feel weighed down I can get really light feathery bouncy hair no problem with this deep conditioner the next product I have here is going to be the color wild dream coat supernatural spray this is basically a anti-humidity sort of spray so this is a spray that you use on your hair and kind of coats your hair so that it helps with humidity and things like that I live in New York City where in the spring and winter it rains and then in the summer it's super super humid so you definitely need to protect your hair from humidity and this is one of my holy grip products it makes my hair look like glass it makes my hair look so so smooth sorry if the sun keeps going in and out um yeah, the sun just keeps going in and out, but we gotta power through. But this is definitely one of my Holy Grail products. This is something I definitely will be repurchasing in the sale because I love it. And this is just going to be the 1.7 ounce. So this is perfect if you travel or if you just want to try it out. Get the little small one because it lasts forever. The last hair product I'm going to talk about is going to be Heat Protectant. I really recommend the Whey Heat Protectant Spray. I like heat protectants that are in an aerosol form that are not um, going to add um, weight or wet your hair again because I find that those heat protectants that are a little bit more of a wet formula or that kind of spritz out instead of in a light mist they re-wet your hair and I just don't like when you flatten your hair and the hair starts to smoke I just get really freaked out by that so I like something that's really lightweight on my hair so I love the way and I also love the Moroccan oil um, what is it called perfect defense heat protectant it is it looks just like this but in a blue packaging and they both are aerosol very light you can't even see it very light mist um, I like to use this when I am straightening my hair with a flat iron or using a curling iron um, I really really love this so so much so definitely recommend this if you are relaxed this is also a great option because it's not going to weigh your hair down or make your hair feel greasy and limp it's just going to keep the body in your hair so definitely recommend this this is the way heat protection spray I also recommend the Moroccan oil version as well all right guys so let's get into some skincare I'm going to try to be a little bit faster because I feel like my hair care took a little bit of time so for moisturizer I love the belief the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. They also have an Aqua Balm, which is more of a gel consistency. I love them both. It's depending on what your skin needs. If you are a little bit more normal to dry, get the Moisturizing Balm. If you are oily, do the Aqua Balm. 
simple effective hydration doesn't make your skin sensitive amazing it feels like a dream when you put it on i know a lot of people talk about these creams believe the hype they are really really good definitely recommend this one and it's expensive but it's not like crazy it's gonna break the bank but i am gonna share something a little bit more bougie with you guys the eye cream that i want to share with you guys i actually don't have with me right now because i am using a new eye cream and testing a new eye cream from glow recipe that i recently bought um and i don't want to recommend that one because i'm just trying it but one of my holy grail eye creams that i want to share that you can get in the sale um that's a little bit expensive but it's great to save some money on it during the sale is going to be the charlotte tilbury eye rescue that's my holy grail eye cream no matter what i can always go back to the eye cream i know it works i love the way it makes my under eyes look it gives this hydrated plumped glowy look right away which i really really love so on days where i'm not wearing makeup it just gives this beautiful glow under the eyes you just look super healthy like you just had a facial so I love that um, and then also I'm um, talking about eyes I wanted to share some eye patches with you guys I really am partial to the Wonder Beauty baggage claim eye mask I love these so so much and you can get a pack of three I think for $26 or it might be even less than that I'm not totally sure but they have it on the Sephora website and I love these because these are not the silicone um, under eye mask because I find that the silicone ones just kind of like droop down your face they don't stay put I have these in my kit as well for when I'm doing makeup this is perfect because they stay in place they don't move they hydrate the under eyes they really are great to prep the under eyes for when you are doing makeup so I like to use these on special occasions so I will definitely be using this when I'm doing my makeup for my baby shower or something like that I like to kind of use these when I am really wanting that snatched under eye look or maybe if I'm really tired and I need to look really put together this is something that I really like to use so highly highly recommend let's talk about a couple serums so you know there is something to say about brands who have been around for a really really long time and products that have been around for a really really long time so as i get older i am less interested in gimmicky products or i don't know like trendy products and i'm getting more and more interested in like products that uh, just work and that are known to work so i want to talk about a couple of serums that have been around forever but that are amazing so this is the lancome genifique this serum is um, sort of like a anti-aging serum but I like it because it's literally like a water a watery very light serum I like to use this one particularly um, at nighttime and um, it's just really really good I definitely notice a difference in my skin the texture of my skin the overall look of my skin there's something about this product um, so I highly recommend and then also the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is the OG. This is like amazing. This can do wonders for your skin. Again, this is something you can use at nighttime. I have to say that I don't only use it at nighttime. I like this one in the daytime as well under my makeup. But um, these two serums I wanted to share with you guys. The Estee Lauder and the Lancome. They are you know OGs for a reason they just work and they're really good and they consistently um, come out with new technology and change them and update them and I feel like they're amazing they don't make my skin sensitive and I actually notice a difference on my skin all right guys I don't think that the ordinary is a part of the Sephora sale um, but I did want to talk about one of my favorite masks which is the ordinary salicylic acid mask like I told you, um, Little Miss has been really messing with my skin. I've been breaking out lately here and there and um, I've never really broken out um, since I was like a teenager. So now to have uh, more acne prone skin, I've always been oily but now I'm a little bit more acne prone. Um, I really like this salicylic acid mask. This almost like clears up my skin immediately it just clears out my pores it makes my skin look like a glass after I use it so this mask is like $12 definitely recommend it I don't think the ordinary is included in the sale but wanted to um, share with you guys because it is one of my favorite masks and then a uh, product that is included in the sale will be the Kiehl's 
uh, pore cleansing mask. I also really like this. It's similar to this, but much more expensive. And this one is a little bit uh, different. This is a clay base, like, you know, it has that bentonite clay in it, I believe. And um, it's just really, really, really good. This really helps with the appearance of pores, which I'm always trying to, you know, clear out my pores, make them look smaller. So highly recommend these masks. All right, guys. So for the lips, um, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, I have this one in vanilla, is amazing. This is a great treatment for your lips overnight. I know some people use this just like as a lip balm, just anytime. I like to use this at nighttime and then also when I wake up in the morning when I'm prepping my skin. I strictly use this as sort of a skin prep item because it's so thick. Um, and also just with you having to dig your finger in it, I just like to be able to wash my hands and put it on. So I really, really highly recommend this. Everyone talks about this, so I'm not going to really talk about it too long, but just know that it's super hydrating, glowy, 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 plump, 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 luscious lips. It's this product. Two skincare products I'm going to talk about that I don't have with me are going to be the K Skin um, Owl Lip Balm with SPF 30. It's in a little squeezy tube. Definitely going to be replenishing that. That is somewhere in one of my purses and it's almost done so I definitely need to replenish that one. It's a great lip balm for the summer or if you live in sunny places or even just a daily lip balm and you want to put SPF on your lips. It's a great way to protect your lips. I love to use that in the summer especially when I go on vacation. And then the other product that I wanted to talk about is the Dr. Dennis uh, Peel Pads. That is a great chemical exfoliant for your skin. Like I said, I've been really trying to work on my skin and keep my skin clear and that's a product that I absolutely love. I don't have it right now. I'm using the Elemis peel pads right now but definitely going to be buying and repurchasing that in the Sephora sale. Alright guys, let's get into body care. Obviously, you guys know what I'm going to talk about. You know what I'm going to say. The Fenty but a drop whipped body cream this is like a whipped oil for your body it's amazing leaves you super glowy hydrated can't live without this stuff and definitely going to be getting another refill for my little jar here for, uh, during the sale highly recommend this if you like very hydrated skin uh, some people say oh it's a little bit too oily i like that personally so if you find that um you don't like things that are very like um thick and oily you might not like it but I love it personally my skin drinks this stuff up my the skin on my body is extremely dry and my face is very oily so my body loves this another product here that I highly recommend is going to be the L'Occitane shower oil this is the almond shower oil I love this stuff so so much so much my best friend put me onto this and I I love it so much and I have the big giant one here and that I just got as a gift from my best friend. Um, so I won't be needing to repurchase this, but I wanted to recommend it for you guys because if you want a shower oil that foams up, that smells like almonds, and it's just delicious, I love it. Try this out. I love very glowy, hydrated, supple skin. I'm obsessed with body care, so this is one of those products that are definitely a splurge, but I highly recommend if you're really into pampering yourself. Speaking of soft, supple skin, another product that I recommend that I always keep in rotation is going to be the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub from First Aid Beauty. This is an amazing scrub. It is a very rough, scrubby scrub, so just be prepared. It's not, you know, a super moisturizing scrub or anything like that, like the way. Um, this is going to be a scrub, so you have to be ready for it. It's very abrasive, but I really like it. It really works if you have KP or keratosis. Polaris, um, or chicken skin, strawberry skin. This is amazing. This just makes your skin so, so soft. I love to use this before I shave my legs. This to make sure I'm getting a very nice close shave. Um, I love to use this on the back of my legs, my shoulders, the back of my arms, anywhere where I may get a little bit of KP. Um, this just makes sure that I am always clear and, you know, nice and smooth. A body oil that I want to share with you guys is going to be the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Body for Meza Oil. So this is fairly new um, and I got it when it came out and I love this stuff. It smells amazing, smells like the Boom Boom Cream. It's great. Um, it is hydrating but not too too thick. What I do is I put a little bit of the Fenty body butter and then I do a squirt of this in my hand and I 
moisturize my body so I kind of mix it in with my Fenty and my skin loves it my skin is so supple so smooth when I get out of the shower I highly highly recommend this if you need a good body oil for the summer um because nobody want to be outside ashy you know we want to be all glowy and beautiful and plump love this stuff all right guys let's get into makeup so I actually have my makeup bag right here I love this bag you can get it at H&M it is perfect this is perfect for travel what I do is I just put on my daily makeup in it I grab this and because I do my makeup in the bathroom in the morning grab this grab my little cup of brushes makeup brushes and I'm set I have my coffee or my tea I put on some YouTube and it's just my time in the morning for myself so let's go in here because I have some makeup recommendations for you guys I've yet to find a primer that I absolutely love and I think I want to try um, a primer I think I want to buy a primer and try a new primer I'm on the lookout I'm always on the lookout for good makeup primers I just find that they don't really work um so right now I'm using like the Tom Ford one which I'm not going to recommend it's okay but as far as something to put underneath the makeup I really do love the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter now this is not a primer I like to put this on the high points of my face so that it just kind of peeks through the makeup I'm a fan more of matte makeup with the, like a little bit of glow right a little targeted glow I don't like to look oily I don't like to look too too glowy so um, I really love the Charlotte Tilbury because you can pop it underneath the foundation and it'll just peek through a little bit um, so highly recommend this I don't do my makeup without it and also I have so many colors of this in my makeup kit and I don't think I do anyone's makeup without this either let's get into foundation so you guys know I love my makeup forever HD skin this is gonna be the newest version of it that came out I think last year I love this highly recommend it, it this is a great long-lasting um, undetectable foundation it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel heavy but it just covers your skin I get so many compliments when I wear this um, this is a great foundation if you're gonna be photographed or anything like that so I like it for every day but I also like it for special occasions so it just makes it like holy grail status for me because I love it I have to also talk about the Dior face and body the backstage face and body foundation amazing foundation again if you want a lightweight like you don't feel it sort of foundation this is great but it does still add a little uh, coverage it's a medium coverage I think you can build it up to full coverage but I love how this sits on the skin I love how it looks in real life but also on camera um, I have a few colors of this absolutely love it um, highly highly recommend great the last foundation I don't have with me it's in my um, makeup drawers and that's going to be the Fenty skin tent I love that for the summer specifically so I will be bringing that out in the summer because I feel that it gives a little bit more of a blurred matte soft matte look on the skin so I love that for the summer um, months and I will be pulling that out again to be using and highly recommend that so you guys know I collect concealers I love concealers concealer is like my thing but I'm only going to share two concealers with you guys because I don't I could talk about concealer all day and recommend so many but I'm going to talk about two the first one being the Huda faux filter concealer I love this it's amazing it is not drying but it's not it's not too liquidy either it's kind of like right in the middle it's moisturizing enough but it kind of sets down it very long wearing it's really pretty in person really pretty in a, like in camera um, the test for makeup is how it looks in real life for me I don't care if it looks really good on camera if it doesn't look good in real life it's too cakey too dry then I'm not gonna probably wear it <laughs> but um, I really really like this concealer highly recommend it it's highly rated the other concealer I'm going to talk about is going to be the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I love this little pot. It is beautiful. This concealer just blurs everything. It makes your skin look perfect. It does take a little learning curve to use it, but once you get the hang of it, it is amazing. I use this every single day with conjunction of my liquid concealer. I'll go ahead and use this on top, top as like a little bit of a brightening and blurring sort of product. I love this under my brows. I just really like this. This is also good for if you're on the go. You just need some quick um, 
spot concealing or not wearing foundation this is a really great concealer to consider and it does give a soft matte complexion um, or look on your skin so highly recommend not a lot of people talk about this but I love it all right so for powder obviously we're going to talk about the OG Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I have used so many loose setting powders the one size the I've tried the Huda in the past um, I've used I've used the Fenty powder and I don't know I just keep going back to this I know that this works it looks really really great and it doesn't surprise me it is consistent I love this I use the color honey um, but I could also use the original translucent color as well I have the I have all the colors I have the darker color in my kit I have all the colors in my kit as well I love this powder it photographs amazingly it makes you look snatched and flash photography is just it's just great the other powder I don't have currently right on me but it's going to be the uh, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush uh, flawless finish powder that is a great powder just to finish around your face I don't necessarily love it under my eyes I know a lot of people love to set their under eyes with it but I need something a little bit more long-lasting so I really like that to finish my face it really gives you this creamy buttery complexion again use it in my kit love it use it on everyone so pretty they have a few different colors it's pretty much a translucent sort of powder but it's great um, for people who maybe have a drier skin type or if you just don't like a powdery look it gives you the most creamy flawless complexion I don't have a cream bronzer to share with you guys because the cream bronzer that I currently use is a Chanel bronzer which I don't think you can find at Sephora I don't think but it's the cream bronzer I almost finished with it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try a new cream bronzer from Sephora during the sale I'm looking at the list beauty um, cream uh, bronzer so we will see as far as powder bronzer though I want to share the airbrush bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury you guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury products this is amazing um, I hit pan on it this is a beautiful airbrushed like the name like soft focus bronzer it just gives you a beautiful look on the skin it blends so easily over foundation highly recommend it and you get this ginormous pan and also it's very expensive so this is a great time to save on it but you do get this ginormous pan and the good thing is after you finish you can just buy the refills and refill your um your compact as far as blush, um, for a liquid, I'm going to go with the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wands. I'm not a blush person. I don't normally wear blush, honestly. I just put bronzer on and kind of go. Um, I've never been a blush person, but when I do want to wear a little bit of blush, I really like this one. This is the Peach Pop color, so it's like a pinky peachy. I have it on today. For powder blush, I have to recommend the Gucci uh, Beauty Powder Blush. I have the color warm berry it is a beautiful berry tone um color i got a lot of use out of this towards the fall um and sometimes in the winter it's just the prettiest color i think on brown skin um so so gorgeous these powders are so smooth and pretty on the cheeks and i definitely want to get another color like a lighter color or maybe a pop of color for the summer but for powder, I definitely have to recommend this. And these are very expensive, but they're so gorgeous and so pretty and bougie and I love it. Um, so this is a perfect time to save. For brows, I have really just been loving my OG Anastasia Beverly Brow, uh, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, a really nice fine micro pencil. I use the color dark brown. Love, love, love it. And then for brow, to set my brows, I use the Anastasia Clear brow gel this sets your brows in place it's not going anywhere love 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 it and then also I also have the brow freeze this is a brow styling wax I have a new brand new one here I recommend this for someone who likes that laminated pushed up brow look it's the clear sort of brow gel that you put into your eyebrows to really like have them look laminated and pushed up I personally don't like this on myself anymore I used to really be into the fluffy 
um, laminated brow look. I typically, I have a new one here because this is going to go into my kit. I like this on clients who have a specific look that they want to achieve, but this does have a learning curve to it. So if you want something simple, go ahead with the regular brow gel. This is just going to hold them in place and make sure that your brows don't fall or anything like that or move around. Um, but if you like something that's just a little bit more um, involved and maybe you like the laminated look, go with the brow freeze. I don't have any highlighter to share with you guys because again, I'm not into highlighting. I just don't love it on my skin and my particular face shape. I just, I'm not a highlighter person. Um, if I really wanted to highlight, I could use a little bit of the Hollywood Flawless Filter on top of my makeup. Um, but I'm not really into that look. Personally, I like more of a satiny matte look. Um, but as far as eyeshadows, I do have a couple eyeshadow palettes to share with you guys. You guys know I am a creature of habit. I am a self-professed plain Jane. And again, I love it here. Um, but the Charlotte Tilbury Super, the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette, I love. I wanted to recommend this to you guys if you want something super duper easy. It has all of these beautiful brown neutral matte shades you have a black in here which I love to use as a little bit of an eyeliner this is my everyday palette right here but this is $60 when you can get the Mario uh, makeup by Mario master mattes palette for $50 and you get a lot more shadows um these are gorgeous I love this palette just as much um but I just happen to use the Charlotte Tilbury every day. It's nice and compact, fits into my little bag here. But if I really had to recommend one eyeshadow palette that you get, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes is it. Now, you guys who are, you know, makeup girlies, really into doing your makeup every day, doing different things, um, you might already own this. Um, so this might be redundant, but if you have not gotten this, then definitely try this. This is really great for the money. Um, and this is a palette that you can use every day. It has all these beautiful matte shades um, and these beautiful skin tone shades. And then you could do like a little bit of a pop of something if you want it on the lid, like a little bit of a shimmer or something. But highly highly recommend the master mattes palette i only have one mascara to recommend and that is going to be the rare beauty mascara i love this mascara it is amazing it makes your eyes look volumized black thick but it's really great if you have sensitive eyes if you this mascara doesn't run on me or flake which i love personally everything excuse me Everything runs and flakes on me no matter what and this is one that doesn't for some reason and also this is um, not waterproof it doesn't claim to be waterproof but this is a great mascara it doesn't run on me it just is consistent I love it and again it does not irritate my eyes lots of mascaras irritate my eyes so highly highly recommend the rare beauty mascara I have a few lip products to share with you guys. The first being obviously one of the only lip liner that I use is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. They have so many beautiful colors. I personally use the color Foxy Brown. It is the perfect neutral brown. I use it with everything whether I'm putting it on and putting lip balm over top, whether I'm putting it on and putting a bright red lip balm or a nude lip. This is a lip liner that I'm going to have on. The Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are a beautiful waxy formula that are waterproof love 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 it um so highly recommend i also love the charlotte tilbury lipsticks they are my favorite lipsticks i have the color on called stone rose it's a beautiful warm sort of orangey tone brown not too orange um it's really pretty when i want a warmer nude if i want a cool nude i like the color super 90s which is just this beautiful mauve brown nude. I just love these formulas. Um, she has her Matte Revolution formula and then she also has the Kissing formula. So the Kissing formula is what I'm wearing today. It has a little bit of a hydrated glow to it. The matte formula is matte without being drying. Chef's Kiss, amazing. I have a couple non-Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip products to share with you guys. Shocker, because they are my favorite lip products, but I discovered the Tarte Juicy Lip uh, Maracuja sort of lip products, and I have the color 
coconut it is a beautiful brown tone this is if you want like super cushiony juicy lips this is like a cross between a lip oil lip gloss lipstick um i really like this this is that super like juicy wet glossy lip that was really really popular and these I know are went viral and I got my hands on more recently and love it and highly recommend. The last product is going to be a little bit of a bougie product and it's going to be the Le Mer Lip Volumizer. I love this. This is my favorite sort of lip balm lip gloss. Um, I put my lip liner on a lot of the time and I'll just put this on top. That's like my favorite go-to lip. That is the lip that gets the most compliments for me when I have just the brown lip liner and I have this on top you don't know how many times a day someone's like what is that on your lips and I'm just like oh it's just a brown lip liner and some lip balm lip gloss highly recommend this yes this is extremely expensive but I love 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 it it tingles a little bit on the lips but it doesn't feel you know irritating or anything like that it leaves your lips so glossy and hydrated but it's not sticky it's just a really good product yes it's bougie definitely not necessary but if you wanted again to splurge on something for the Sephora sale I love the La Mer lip volumizer I do have a couple of setting sprays to share with you guys my ultimate favorite being the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this stuff. If you have sensitive skin and um, you just want a setting spray to set your makeup, have it be long wearing, but doesn't feel too heavy or matte, then this is a setting spray for you. This gets rid of any powdery look. It just sets down your makeup and, and has it stay in place. This is alcohol free and this is supposed to have your makeup stay all day, like 16 hours. It primes and sets for up to 16 hours, no melting, no fading, no creasing. So really love that. I've gone through countless bottles of this. I have a little travel size in my makeup bag. I have countless bottles of this and I love it. The other spray I wanted to share is the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Now this is not for everyone. This is definitely going to be a little bit more heavy duty. Um, at first I didn't like it but I actually really do like it now especially now that it's getting warmer and I want my makeup to last all day. I've kind of gotten my setting routine down to a science. I really like to prime my skin with this before I put on my foundation and stuff and then after I do everything I go ahead back with this and I put this on and then I put this on top and it sets my makeup all day guys it's like the best sort of setting combination I love it find that on its own this is maybe a little bit too much for me but I do love it in conjunction with the Charlotte Tilbury if you are extremely oily you might really love this on its own though Alright guys, let's get into my wish list. So other than me replenishing on the things that I need, um, like my um, Fenty, you know, body, whipped body uh, butter and things like that, I do have a little bit of a wish list on things that I want to try. The first being the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin like blurring sort of primer balm. I want to try that. I hear so many people talk about it and again I'm on the lookout for a good primer. I might also pick up the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I heard one of my favorite makeup artists who is Andrea Ali um, talk about it and she loves it so I might go ahead and pick that up. I also want to try the Glow Recipe Watermelon uh, Glow Drops or Glow Serum. Um, that's the one with the AHA um, in it. So I want to try that as a sort of chemical exfoliating sort of serum. I need a new one in my uh, skincare routine. So I'm thinking about that one. That one has really good reviews. Also, the Makeup Forever HD powder that everyone is talking about you guys know that I love the liquid version so they have the powder foundation that was recently reformulated that I want to try out um, because I'm on the search for another really good setting powder for the summer and I think that would be really really nice also the let's see the First Aid Beauty Anti Chafe Stick. I want to try that. I saw someone pick that up in a haul. And uh, yeah, I am chafing now that, you know, I am pregnant and a little heavier. Um, I'm chafing in all different places and I, and I need some relief. So I definitely want to try that. Also, the um, 
uh, Way Detox Shampoo. I heard someone talk about that. I need a good clarifying shampoo. The Summer Fridays Skin Tent. I know that um, Happy Stylish Mommy loves that. And I definitely want to try that out for the summer. I think that would be really nice because it's supposed to be like a nice water-based skin tent. Um, the, I have my list here. The Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Again, another sort of setting powder that may sort of take the place of my um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. We will see. I want to try that. The Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I've tried it in a travel size, but I'm thinking of getting the larger size because I remember really liking it and so many people um, have talked about it in their recommendations that I might want to go ahead and put that back into my makeup collection. The Vegamore Grow Scalp Detox Serum. So that is a product that I'm thinking of trying to replace my Briogeo drops. They're like the same price if not the Vega more might be a little bit more expensive but I'm going to try something different I don't want my scalp to get used to the Brogio serum and it stopped working so I want to try something a little bit different and I always need a scalp serum because of my scalp issues um also the Liss Beauty cream bronzer stick I want to try I need a new cream bronzer I'm running out of my Chanel cream bronzer in the jar and also the Way St. Bart's Cleanser. I have tried the scrub in the past and really like it. And I want to try the new cleanser to see how I like it. So that's my wish list, guys. Um, let's see what we end up getting. Uh, I will definitely be filming my haul to share with you guys on the things that I picked up. I know this was an incredibly long video. Let me know what you guys recommend, what you guys are picking up uh, for the Sephora sale. It's just a very exciting time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.